So I'm just trying out my Osmo Pocket here. So here's my new Osmo Pocket. As you can see, there's a little cover door here and it comes with uh, two connectors. Hello subscribers, YouTubers, drone enthusiasts, family and friends, happy 2019. So this is my first project for uh, 2019. It's a continuation of a project st I started in 2018. In the making of this video, I'm using the DJI Osmo Pocket and some aerial mapping tools for my Phantom 4 Pro uh, to show the finished making of the uh, Rabbit Habitat project. So let me share that with you right now. Happy 2019. So I'm just trying out my Osmo Pocket here. I have a cold, just got back from the Midwest and caught it on a plane from two people that were coughing probably. But I came back to uh, do some more testing. This time more like a voice sound in somewhat low light. The sun is already down below the hill, so it's 
getting darker. So, this is my first couple of times of using it. And, uh, be interesting to see how the video comes out on it. And I can share that with my YouTube friends and subscribers and family. I'm excited about this little tool and what it's gonna be able to do for enhancing my videos for my viewers. Starting to see more and more animal droppings. So they're definitely coming into the area. Mostly deer and moose. Poop. <laughs> but as you can see, they have a lot of nice berms and piled up branches for little animals to hide in. Uh, it'll be a good hunting season here for the coyotes and birds of prey. The owls are probably gonna love this place when the rodents are come out at night. But you'll see there's, there'll be a remarkable transition over the next year or two. Uh, as soon as you introduce sunlight, all the seedlings that are remain dormant in the ground, they'll sprout right up and they'll develop kind of a thick undergrowth here. Uh, small saplings, trees, bushes. Uh, it, it's gonna be good. You know, it's sad to take down trees, but this is kind of an experiment, I think. Uh, creating a habitat, see if a species that's in decline will uh, repopulate themselves. Bye. So with uh, mapping uh, technology that I have now, I can uh, fly over here every now and then and, and check it out and see how it's progressing. And I'll share that with you guys over the time, over the years, maybe uh, one or two years show what it looks like so thanks for joining me and uh, like I said I'm a little bit late to the game had a lot of stuff going on but uh, happy uh, 2019 this is a big year for me I'm retiring and uh, I'll be able to do lots of more videos for you guys looking forward to it So here's my new Osmo Pocket. As you can see, there's a little cover door here and it comes with uh, two connectors. One of them is a lightning cable for iOS products, Apple, iPhone, iPad, Mini. And the only other choice that you have is USB-C. So uh, you could get an adapter, a connector very much like this one here. So this is USB-C and this is uh, micro USB. This actually came with my uh, battery bank and uh, I like it because when I use the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth adapter for the Osmo Pocket um, because it drains down the battery much quicker on the Osmo Pocket you can actually plug in to the base and uh, charge the unit while it's operating. This thing is very, very nifty. You don't have to have your Osmo Pocket plugged into your phone. Not a big fan of that connection just hanging there. And it limits your mobility. I like to be able to set it down on a base, walk away, and operate the uh, app wirelessly. So with the um, Wi-Fi module on, I'll start it up. And get a red light initially. Camera. Then the other way is Bluetooth.
perfekt sätt. Connected. And now connected by Bluetooth. Thank you.